We have sweets today. Huh? Actually, 5.30 p.m. This place is going to be boring. There's a story that hasn't made its slot, that hasn't been edited in time. There's an issue legally, perhaps, with it. The running order is changing all the time. And we wear earpieces where we hear the producer and the director in the control room. And they're talking to us constantly while we're talking to you. They're talking to us. Stand there and go, oh, my clicker's not working. So we we'll all use our imagination and uh, pretend to see what the weather looks like. And you still have to stand there and talk for a minute. Your brain's going, run away, run away. But obviously, you can't. So you stand there and talk about the weather, even though no one can see it. But I always double check my clicker. <laughs> Suppose we're very lucky in the southwest. We get lots of very interesting stories. What's your most memorable story that you, you've worked on? Charity. But yes, I choose most of them. And people always ask about Victoria and I matching. David is a law unto himself and wears clothes that don't even match with each other, let alone match with us. I can say that because he's on holiday. But um, Victoria and I tend to try to match if we can, rather than clash. And uh, it's become a bit of a challenge now. We, we quite enjoy challenging each other. Generally, I'm the first person on screen each day as I present the lunchtime news. So Victoria will come in and see what colour tie I'm wearing, and then she'll try and uh, find a top or a blouse or a jacket to match. But uh, generally, we do quite well. If you see Victoria wearing black or a very plain colour, it's because she's not got the, the colour to match my tie, but it doesn't happen very often. So I always thought Victoria told you what to wear. Well, she likes to think of it. Where are you all from then? Um, just outside Exeter. All oh, right, so it's not being, not being too bad at you. Yeah. Great stuff, brilliant. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Yes, we're up on the platform up there tonight. Yes. Brilliant. All right, nice to meet you all. Take care. Bye. Good day. Bye. Right then, so as we have just seen there, <laughs> a celebrity amongst the people at Devon and Court. How does it feel? Well, I don't know. It seems odd. I don't consider myself a celebrity really because uh, really I'm just involved in telling people what the news is so I I've always thought of people who are in films and uh, big national television celebrities as famous people I've never thought thought of myself as famous but it's only when I come here I realize people thousands of people watch us and so they consider us to be well known <laughs> How does it feel to be asking, answering questions from them unscripted? It must be slightly different. Yes, that's a bit disconcerting because I'm usually the one asking the questions. And I don't, I don't really like being on the end of the questions. I'd rather be asking them than answering them. And the thing is here, you never know what the audience are going to ask either. But today they were quite gentle. I was asked earlier on if I'd found a wife yet. Uh, and I wasn't sure if the lady was offering. <laughs> But uh, most of the questions were all about Spotlight, so it wasn't too bad. Does it often surprise you how many people come and say hello and how friendly the people are here at the Devon County Show? Do you know, it always reminds me how popular Spotlight is. We know that the programme is well loved and well regarded by its audience. And we get letters and emails from people, but it's only when we come to the shows and people come up and we realise how important the programme is to people's lives. They, they set recorders, they try not to miss it, and uh, to think that they love their region so much that they don't want to miss spotlight is is a great privilege and honor for us that they regard the program that highly and of course we're now in the 50th year of spotlight yes. and we've got celebrations going on here as well how does it feel to be part of those celebrations well do you know that's been amazing looking back over the history and seeing the people that preceded me the well-known people who've presented spotlight hugh scully and Jill Dando and Fern Britton and uh, Juliet Morris and all those people. I feel, uh, I feel a little bit inadequate, really. I don't feel I should be part of that lineup. Uh, it's a great privilege to be part of that lineup. Uh, it's a great honour, I have to say. And of course, you must be coming to the Devon County Show now for many a year. Yes. How does it feel to um, come? Is it something to look forward to, or is it samey every year? It is because we get to see people that we only see at the show year after year, and so you're waving at people and saying hello, nice to see you again. But it also does give us a chance to come out and, and meet the people who support us and watch us every night, hear what they think of the programme and take that feedback away. So it's a good exercise for us and a great, great honour to come out and, and represent the programme and the BBC and all that history you were talking about, the 50 years of Spotlight, to come out and sort of represent all the people who've worked on the programme. Of course, it's quite a big 
mass movement of things to get here in the show today. What organisation goes into getting the BBC here at the Devon County Show? Huge. Do you know, we were given um, a, a document before we came here of all the, the logistics, the cameras, who's operating them, the editing equipment, who's responsible for the satellite truck, who's responsible for microphones, and it ran to 18 pages. So that will show you logistically how much of an operation it is just to get us here. We do a huge amount of radio and TV broadcasting from here. So all the facilities that we normally have in the studio in Plymouth are all needed here. So it's a big operation to transport all that equipment here. There's a great big lorry here. So it's, it's quite a logistical operation, but it all seems to always work. It's amazing. So it's quite an important event for the BBC as well. It is, yes. Our bosses are all here. They want to hear what the viewers and, and listeners think of the services. It's a chance for the public to feed back what they like and what they don't like. And for us to hear that and make changes where we think the public perhaps want something a bit different or if they enjoy something it's nice for us to hear that as well so yes it's a chance for all the, the whole team behind the scenes as well to come out and hear what uh, viewers and listeners think of what we do right, thanks very much for that thank you very much <laughs> lovely <laughs> Just copy, please.